Welcome everybody. Um, my name is Nicola Arkert, lecturer in Careers and Employability, and it's great that you've um, joined our session. So this is one of my favourite slides. And um, as Steve was saying, we have students that um, go out on placement, that also get graduate jobs every year with organisations such as L'Oreal, IBM, Walt Disney. Um, so even now looking at the, this slide, I'm thinking of students that I've worked with and supported, um, and they've come back and talked about the amazing time that they had at L'Oreal, for example. Um, we have a really good employability and placements team, which is, um, you know, a big kind of, it's a really key thing within Kent Business School. Um, so you can see me there, I support students on the Canterbury campus and also my colleague Gemma Witts who supports students on the Medway campus. Um, we also have Sam and Kim um, and what they're doing is when we have students out on placements, so roughly about 150 students every year, um, Kim and Sam would be really supporting those students um, and they're also working with employers. So lots of employers will contact um, us directly and say we're really looking for a Kent um, student to do a placement with us or an internship with us um, and what they are doing is really making those um, you know that they're kind of informing you about those um, opportunities. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about the graduate labour market and um, one of the things that Gemma and I are doing is just you know, we really know what it is that graduate employers are looking for and we know how to support you um, to get those placements um, and also um, to get graduate jobs as well. Um, and you might be hearing in the news that, you know, for um, especially young people, um, that sense of it being difficult to find um, employment. But what is kind of interesting is that's not particularly the case with graduate recruitment. That is actually holding up really well. Um, and just the Institute of Student Employers really recent survey, they interviewed over 150 employers um, and 99% of them said that they are still recruiting graduates um, and many of them are running graduate programmes as well. So the graduate recruitment market is actually really robust. Um, what comes through time and time again is that employers really value um, people to have work experience. So that's why a lot of what Gem and I are doing is really supporting you um, to get that work experience, be that in the form of an internship or a placement um, or part-time paid work um, as well. What we also see is that graduate um, you know, they expect a lot and um, graduate employers expect a lot and they have a list of skills that they're looking for. And again, that's a list that Gemma and I know. So we are really supporting you um, to develop those um, skills needed um, through um, the employability programme, but also through your courses. Um, employers are using virtual recruitment strategies. Um, and actually that's unlikely to change. So a lot about what Gem and I do is really to support you through that recruitment cycle. Um, and we have lots of employers, for example, that will come in and talk to you about what it is that they're looking for. So yeah, um, Steve's already mentioned about employers, they're looking for people to come in with resilience, emotional intelligence, remote working, IT and digital skills, um, and both within Kent Business School and also from the Central Careers and Employability Service, there's a number of sessions and a number of tools that will help you to develop these in-demand skills. What we do is we have a programme called Backpack to Briefcase, and that means that employability is embedded at each and every stage of your university career. So in first year, for example, you do the careers award, which will introduce you to you know, how to do an, uh, an excellent CV. It will look at various um, networking skills, for example, and we'll also be meeting with you for um, sessions as well. 
Um, we have a number of employers and alumni that come into our employability sessions. So just thinking back to the previous academic year, we had sessions won by IBM, um, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, um, and also we've had alumni, so people that have graduated from university and they're working in organisations such as PwC or EY, um, Volkswagen, and they're coming back to talk to current students about, you know, what it's like working in those um, in. And you can also have one to one career sessions with myself and with Gemma and also with the Central Careers and Employability team. Um, I'll come on and talk a little bit about the year in industry and year abroad. Um, and yeah, you can see there our University Career Service was a finalist in the Best University Careers and Employability Service. And they did actually win it. I think it was in 2018. But, you know, they were finalists um, this year, which is good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk to you about the um, year in industry. So you have the opportunity that is where you extend from a three year degree to a four year degree and in between your second year and final year, um, you would do a year in industry, year in enterprise or year abroad. And like Steve said, I absolutely recommend um, if you've not already then putting down that you want to do the year in industry option. Um, because that just gives it just makes it um, easier. If you decide not to, you can always revert back. But um, yeah, it, it's good to put that down at the beginning. Um, and you can also do a year in data analytics and a year in computing. And again, the reason those programmes are there is we know what it is that employers are looking for. So if you choose to do a year in industry, um, that is 44 weeks. And um, they are paid positions. It tends to be roughly between about 18 and 20,000 pounds um, a year. Um, we also see that um, students that have done a year in industry tend to earn more when they um, secure a graduate um, role. And really the great thing about doing a work placement is it just gives you a chance to try out a career area, to try out what it's like working for an organization um, and what our students that have done a placement and um, come back and say is it's really increased their skills and knowledge and they found it a really positive experience. So as well as working, um, you can also do what we call a selfie placement. And that is where you have the opportunity to run your own business for a year. Um, and Rebecca is going to come on and talk to you about that. But again, just a fantastic way of developing those really important skills and resilience um, that employers are looking for. And there's lots of support if you decide to um, do a selfie placement. So all of our courses, the employability program, but also um, whichever of our programs you would choose to study, um, the graduate attributes are embedded throughout them. So through um, studying marketing, for example, or management, international business, um, we're making sure that you are developing these key attributes. So that's the end of the presentation from myself. Um, I will be available on the panel. So if you have any questions then, that would be great. Um, and you've got our contact details there. I would also say if you're on LinkedIn, I know some of you will be already, then you know, I'm absolutely happy for you to connect with me and that will give you a sense of um, the type of thing that I'm posting um, for our students. Okay, so thank you very much.